What are we cooking? Uh, the gloves. MPI. Well, while I was rolling vultures, he uh, he collected uh, coffins. Okay, so these gloves, we did a we did a craft of this. Uh, I think yesterday or the day before, but it was the it was not optimized to its uh, to the potential that it could be at. But now it is. It can go even further with more min max. We got four, five gloves. Also, these five gloves. I mean, it, it's a fifty percent chance. It's like two to three gloves. Yeah, the gloves only come with two mods because we only got we got minus two explicits on this on this on this go. Ideally, we're getting five total gloves. It should be two to three gloves. Should be good. Like like should be frenzy crit multi according to the math. All right, let's set this up, dude. Let's set this up, man. Uh, let me. I gotta do my little. Uh, gotta do my little crayon. I do my little crayon, okay? Got to circle that, circle that. And we got adjacent here. Little crayon boy. Yeah, I need my little crayons, all right? Bitch. I mean, okay, so three undead with one adjacent next to a undead fracture. Nice. Okay, then we got a uh, four exact fractures. A beast. Yeah, beast, beast, beast. Oh, never mind, humanoid. Beast, beast, nice, good to go. Two attacks, the same. We got a scarcer attack, scarcer attack. They are both the. Oh, never mind. These are both the same. Okay, then we got two crits that are the same. Increase crit, increase crit. Oh, I did it wrong again. You should have started with the big corner. Something bad is about to happen. Oh, dude, something bad has already happened. Why is my morgue full? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Okay, there we go. I fixed the problem. It's fine. It's okay, dude. My circles confused me. Humanoid. Uh, with mod... Humanoid mod tier. Humanoid mod tier... Uh, humanoid crit, and then, yeah, attack. Okay. Uh, right here, correct, yes. Okay, humanoid effect with mod tiers on the top and the sides, and then crit below it. All right, we're done with our circles. Now let's do the cooked corner so that, uh, I can get this over with, man. It's a truckload of rows. Do we really use that many? We do actually use eight rows. Goddamn. Okay, column. At the top left, we have our additional beast. And then we're going to do a... Okay, we're going to do an X. Beast. Beast. And then a second X. Yes, okay, we do another X. Beast. Beast. And then we can do additionals. Or adjacent, my bad. Not our additionals, our adjacents. Adjacent. Adjacent. We cooking. We're gonna get hopefully two to three giga frenzy multi gloves. Well, not giga. They're 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 hopefully gonna be double fractured. Is what I mean. Maybe we're gonna go core. I don't know. I like the idea of like better but more effort fossils. But uh, I don't think this is it for a core mechanic. I mean, it's pretty fun to have access to for one league though. I guess like once you get used to it. Like to be honest, it's like it's like wor it, it's like the same crafting league vibes as if you like just made like worse Sentinel, just like much worse Sentinel is what I think of when I play this mechanic. But it's still uh I don't know I'm still having fun. It's not like I'm not having fun. All right, so we are okay. So what's left? We have um, and we've done all of our adjacents. So we need uh four mod tier minus mana minus attributes and plus crit. Uh, two more mod, mod tier, mod tier, and then mana, mana, attributes, uh, plus crit, and what else do we need? Minus res, and a mod tier down here. Hey, what's up, flames? Now I did not escape Vulture Prison. We're taking a break from Vulture Prison. I think we're good. Let's make sure it matches up, though. So this is going to be on Slink Gloves because the highest success rate. 
since we're not dealing with uh, all the mods that evasion, arm, uh, e evasion armor hybrid brings. Okay, so we're supposed to be at, let's make sure this matches up, right? 700 mod rating, 200% chance at fracture, 400% chance additional item, 300% attribute, resistance, 300%, defense, 1.1125, uh, life, 900, mana, 300, and then 1500 haunted, 700 crit, minus two. I didn't mess up and do a, a plus one, minus one this time. Okay, yeah, so with this recipe, the math is now five gloves, but uh, two to three of the gloves should have fractured frenzy and fractured crit multi. And the reason we're not divining it is because uh, like we don't have a divine corpse is because it divines after the fracture, so it's useless. So we don't care. Like you just get have to get good RNG on it, pretty much, uh, if you're doing fractures. So yeah, this optimized recipe should be good. Hopefully, I don't lose here. Please give me. At least one or two pair of gloves, dude. Please, Prage. Prage. Do not pre-type LMAO. No. I hate that you, that you type wait every time, MPI. I actually have like a, a, a jolt. There we go, dude. Okay, that's a good sign. The first one that drops is Frenzy Crit Multi. Number two is... Okay, Crit Multi Rarity. Crit Multi Evasion. Frenzy fire res nice two okay that is the expected result too oh okay okay i'm happy dude we got two uh we also got this this is not a brick i mean it is a brick but it sells for a few divine at least um i don't know if just crit multi and garbage mod sells at all like maybe like 100 chaos or some shit oh my heart's racing dude i was gonna be upset if we didn't get uh, at least two at 24 percent what the there's only four 24% in the game. There's no way it's actually worth that much more than a 20. This was, must just not be crafted, right? Uh, this guy just probably didn't craft his gloves. But yeah, the 17 cannot be too much, honestly. 17 is a very low roll on this. There's still like 15 div. Yeah, these are probably worth nothing though. But the expected cost is like... I think like 17 divines total probably for the craft. So, I mean, it's pretty solid. If you get one pair of gloves in the current market, it uh, pays off the investment, like just one. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and actually craft one of these since we got 24%. Let's go ahead and craft one of these. Yeah, it's like Zeal Essence until Chaos Rose Suppress. Maybe Veiled Orb for Cold Convert. I don't know how many Cold Convert players there are right now, though. All right, so we dropped the quality plots we do have to actually um perfect fossil it ourselves 19 percent 25 percent fine i'll go for higher than 25 all right 30 easy game i don't actually know the rate on double fracture to hit suppress it still shouldn't be that bad it's it's probably re reasonably cheap okay well I mean, there we go. I think I bought too many zeal essences. Yeah, true. I do have the other pair of gloves to hit. I, I forget. They're kind of like the ugly brother because they're 17% crit multi garbage. Come on, just give me like uh, above 20. 23%. 27. All right, you're the ugly brother, so you can have lower than 30% as well. Oh, no. This guy is just cursed. He's cur It's 17%, so he's cursed. It's going to take 200 essences for this guy. Oh, no. Make it stop. Oh, make the pain stop. That was T1. I should probably slam on T1 life, actually. Let's do the best pair for the big spenders, a.k.a. A.k.a. Fizz. Let's do uh, Let's do the ugly pair. For, I mean, it's not ugly. I'm, I'm treating it badly. Yeah, we're going to do the crafting method I did lastly. The problem is Veiled Chaos Robes are so expensive, dude. It's actually insane. Um, so I'm hoping I get spooned or something, dude. Like, look at these prices. It, it's absolutely unreal. Okay, three per div is, is good, at least. I mean, it's not great, but it's good. Corrupted Frenzy 2. No, man. I got a quiver I got to make for the shop. I'm going to be broke soon, so I'm just doing... I'm doing a... We're, we're not, like, min-maxing or anything right now. T3. 
Oh, GG. That didn't take as many as I thought it would. Do I even have damage while leeching? I don't know. There's uh, better blocks, but... Oh, there we go. First pair of gloves, dude. Nice. Okay. This pair of gloves is done, but now we have to do implicits. We gotta do implicits now. I'm not gonna spend a bajillion exalts to get that one more percent higher. Rage's Exarch, and then Rage and what, like Suppress? Or actually, do you even care about the rage roll since you don't even use the rage? Like like you just literally get get to 50, right? So Okay, so but, but we do need this. This is going to be really annoying, dude, because Eater is expensive. But luckily, I've been farming a little bit of Eater. I will blow my graders, I guess, and then try to upgrade it from there. I got Pierce, but unique enemy nearby. There we go, finally. Holy. All right, let's see how this goes. Please don't be too painful, please. Exceptional. Grand. Exceptional. One more? Oh no, okay, it all goes downhill here. Watch this go to fucking greater. Of course, dude. Perfect attack speed. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now we just need to roll for rage. Man, this uh, this mod's kind of rare, huh? This mod's uh, this mod's not common, huh? Um, oh, there we go. Okay, how much are the gloves worth now? Let's check. We have zeal essence, eighty-five. Uh, we, we have T one life, zeal essence, crit multi. Uh, Pierce. Frenzy. Suppress. Uh, the only one is 200 div listed right now. Let's remove the uh, pierce. Yeah, so I don't... Yeah. Oh, these guys don't even do the implicits. Dude, if you're going to do the crafting, you should do the implicits. Like, that is just like a... Most of the time, if the person you're selling to is doesn't want to craft the explicits they also probably don't want to craft the implicits all right that's like profit crafting 101 just like a tip he's paying 130d yeah i think that 200d is overpriced but just doing the explicits and being like i'm gonna sell this profit craft to someone that then has to craft it's not a it's usually not gonna like your item might just like sit there because, like, bow players, they're going to see a, a pair of gloves 20 div higher than yours usually and be like, I'm just going to buy the 20 divine higher gloves because the implicits are done. Sometimes it's even smart to match up the colors exactly to, like, whoever they're following. Like, for example, Bub does red, 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 blue. Okay. I need wild bristle matrons now. So you know what we do? We are just going to uh, actually just hit plus one life or T1 life and then craft it. Because that is way easier. But I'm getting blasted, dude. I'm getting pumped. Oh, never mind. Okay, I just had to whine. We're good. Thing is, dude, I didn't unveil it, though. So now I have to go unveil it. Because I was like, I'm not going to unveil it. Because if I don't unveil it, you know, conspiracy theory. Not bad, not bad. We can do this. Give me a cold convert. Nice. Wait, actually. Okay, I have, I have two. Wait, we could actually hit this. I, I have two conflicts. Grand? Okay, one more, one more. One more. Easy game. We gotta hit rage, though, now. Uh oh, well, easy game. Alright, cool. Like... If I price something and I don't get spammed and it sells like 10 to 20 minutes later, it's probably a little bit underpriced, but I mean, I'm happy with that. It's, it's probably not too bad. Other, otherwise, you have to be content with uh, just sitting there waiting for it to sell for possibly days, right? And then suddenly there's like three other jewels like it that pop up and market's crowded and you're sad. 
Um, gloves are done. I'm just going to lower them over time. Probably lower them pretty aggressively. Wait, we got funding, dude. We got funding. We got funding. Uh, unless I'm just getting baited, then we don't have funding. Nice. The oh, the actually the cold convert one sold before the Ellie one. Rip off, mother trucker! I'm not baiting you. Got funding. <laughs> 